Hey guys, this is Scott here, and today I've got something here I'd like to talk to you guys about and get your opinion on, because it does bother me that this is such an issue which Rockstar Games, as of yet, haven't cleared up, despite it being such a huge issue again. So if you're not aware, um, there's actually a wide number of Snapmatic based crews who use the in-game phone to actually take photos of what they find in the world of GTA Online. It's not hard to take a photo, granted, but these crews really do put a lot of time and effort into taking the perfect images, as well as their Snapmatic art, which is done by using the text editor, which if you've seen any of those images, they are actually incredible, I don't know how they do it, but it is crazy. <laughs> Um, so if you didn't know as well, I'm actually a designer and member for one crew in particular, the GTA Photographers, which I think is one of the most popular crews of all actually. Um, it's led by a load of different commissioners from players who have actually taken a lot of dedication towards the crew. Now, the GTA Photographers are really active across Twitter and they have had their you know, fair recognition from Rockstar on the Newswire as well as other sources. But um, I wasn't actually aware how popular it was um, before I left back in September when I wasn't really gaming. And it's actually crazy how many creative minds there are taking photos and whatnot. And it is, you know, you've got to acknowledge that it is a fairly big community and you can't just simply ignore them because they are a wide aspect of what the GTA Online users are. So the work is great and they're really active, you know, I've praised them enough. And I've actually been speaking with the crew leader Machiavelli, who you might know him as Hybe or Machiavelli. It is the same from Slaughterhouse, uh, from GTA IV and Max Payne 3. And one thing he's actually said for time and time again is that he's having to constantly deal with people taking credit for their work. And people are going and taking these images from the GTA photographer's gallery, as well as other galleries as well. It's not just this one crew and they're using them for video thumbnails and whatnot and what they're not doing though is they're not giving credit to that crew or to the photographer who took that image despite getting credit for using that image so it's like let me let me try and put this in a different perspective because you might be sat here thinking well it's just a picture what's the problem so let's look at it this way imagine you're a youtuber as many of you actually are if you're watching this video or you may know a GTA YouTuber and you're working hard to produce videos to grow your subscribers and get more views by putting hard work into capturing and editing your videos. Now let's say someone comes in, they see your videos are good and they start to download them as well as other people's videos. They start downloading your videos and re-uploading them under a new name and under a new channel name. And then they start actually growing faster than you because they're doing this to a lot more people and a lot more people are seeing it. So they think that they're the ones making the videos. That's essentially someone else getting recognition for your hard work. Now as YouTubers, you may not already know, but we're able to report a video and have any re-uploads removed from that channel. And the uploader would get a channel strike or be suspended if it's a continuous issue. So, as YouTubers, we are protected by the terms of service which Google has put in place, which is pretty fair, to be, to be honest. However, these photographers who put in just as much work day and night to take these pictures for wider recognition, when someone takes these images from their Snapmatic gallery, Rockstar won't actually do anything to stop copying, and they don't care if the photographer isn't given credit. Now, when you compare it to what's happened there with YouTube, it is actually really fucking unfair. That's low, if anything, if someone has to steal that image and not give credit for it. So, as I said, they're not the only ones, but GTA photographers and the likes of other Snapmatic crews are a big target for YouTubers who will just steal images all the time and they'll just get away with it. Now, I'm not sitting here saying, you know, oh, boycott this channel or report it or do any of that nasty business with those. Instead, I'm um, asking those who do use these images to be more fair with it. So, they've also said that most of the GTA photographers are fine with people using their images for video thumbnails, but give them credit either through your video description, if you're doing a commentary, just mention it, or if you use Twitter, then at least use the hashtag on Twitter and say, yeah, I used this image. You don't lose anything from giving credit to someone. You're only helping them out as a result of them helping you out by giving you that image. It is such common sense, I don't know why people don't give credit for it. 
I hope you can kind of understand why this annoys me so much because again it is it is such an issue and there's no solution for it but now let's see what you guys think should snapmatic users receive more recognition for their works should they have to watermark every single image they take and share online which then might actually ruin the image and not everyone knows how to put a watermark on their image and such it's just it'd be a lot simpler if there was another mechanism in place or if people were just more fair about it let me know in the comments below i've actually already emailed rockstar saying this needs to be resolved because it is stupid now how much this is happening um so yeah i'll end the rant here thanks for watching guys and have a nice day